So in this question, we're asked to find, this is a square base pyramid. The apex of the pyramid, this top bit E, is directly over the center of the base. You're asked to find this height, the perpendicular height of the pyramid. So first thing you need to do is to find this length from B to C. If you imagine that little red triangle, you can say that is a triangle that goes from A to C to B. It's a right angle. I told you in the question it's a square based pyramid. So each of these sides are 10. And I'm going to call this length A, C, X. So X squared equals 10 squared plus 10 squared. X squared equals 200 or x equals root 200. Now it does say in the question leave your answer in third form. That just means leave it as a square root. Don't try and simplify it. If you type root 200 into your calculator it will simplify it for you and give you 10 root 2. So this length from A to C the whole way across is 10 root 2. What you've now got to imagine is that you're going to take this from E and drop it right down. Now it said that was directly over the centre of the base. So where that drops, that's called an M, is exactly halfway along this side AC. So if we have another triangle like that, you say this new triangle is going from A to E to M. Well, A to E is 12 it's the same as the other diagonal side. A to M is just half of the whole AC length. So if the AC length over here was 10 root 2, that one must be 5 root 2. And let's call this EMY, we've already used X. So Pythagoras in this one says 12 squared equals 5 root 2 squared. And I'm putting it in brackets so that I know I'm squaring both the 5 and the root 2. The whole thing is squared. That's Y squared. That comes out as 144 equals 50 plus y squared. y squared equals 94. y equals root 94 centimetres. Ask you to leave it as a third or leave it with that square root sign in. That's it. Done.